I'm gonna get right into playing the videos that have been circulating, but I just want to give my take on it as well with the video. So as we watch this, I'm gonna be, you know, giving my point of view, whatever I feel like needs to be said. But we're not gonna, you know, what I mean, waste too much time on my opinion. But I do want to help spread the word of this story. Hold on, we're going to chill on that for just one second. I'm going to get that, turn the volume down just a little bit so it ain't blasting in y'all ear because it is kind of choppy sound. But we do need more people talking about this story. I haven't seen too much, too many videos and not enough people really talking about this. But this is something that's really impactful to the world going on right now. So without further ado, I want to get right into the video. Oh my gosh, look at the harbor. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Tell the towers are burnt down. Really? And everybody, everybody's going to go and try to get to the airport. Like, just imagine that. That This reminds me of a lot of Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, you know, Gatlinburg, when that burnt down. But just imagine, like, a lot of people just see Hawaii as, like, a beautiful place, somewhere you go to relax and get away from problems, you know. I mean, obviously, they have problems there on their homeland, you know. You know, whatever it may be, you know, everybody has problems everywhere. But at the same time, it's still, like, paradise in a way because... It's something, the scenery is just something you never really see, and it's a different culture, even though, you know, it's America, so to speak, but still it has its own culture. So it's like to see something like this burning down, bro, it's like crazy. No more. makes you think like bro this ain't even something that's a result of war and look what it can do and look look at the devastation and how it looks out there it looks like a war zone and that's something that can naturally occur it's like the california redwood fires that should be crazy bro because it's like just randomly it can the weather can be a certain temperature and you know the stars align and next thing you know flame Hold on, dude. Side note, besides the devastation going on, her narration is horrible. Oh, my God. It looks like it's burning down. What else? What else? Terrifying. Oh, my God. I hope there's no animals up there. Oh, and look 
Look at that. Whoever this lady is, dude. I don't. I'm not feeling her. She all about, oh my god, I hope there's not any animals out there. I hope there's not any people out there. You talking about some animals. I mean, I get it, but come on. Alright, I better go back to the uh, bank area. Oh my god, look at this. Hold on real quick. This is why they also be trying to get people to evacuate or in or to stay at home or away from the scene of all of this because look at her. What? Why are you even there? You don't seem like you're in a rush to get anywhere. You don't seem like you just escaped anywhere. It looks like you're going on a morning stroll through a city that's get, that's burning down. Don't look like you care too much about him. But hey, you just drove right on past him. I guess you know you don't want your safety, whatever. But I mean, dude is walking through a bunch of clouds of smoke. You up here going on a stroll through the smoke, risking your life and the people's life when they have to come and try to save you from some shit falling and breaking down around you. That's a lot going on right there, dude. That's a lot of devastation going on, bro. And, I mean, that, that one video of the lady driving around was kind of strange. I feel like they could have got something else besides that. <laughs> they could have clipped her narration out of it, I guess, you know. But for dramatic effect, maybe that was, you know, set that was in there for a purpose. But it's too much going on. These wildfires is kind of crazy, bro. It's like, how do we even get... Like, let me Google it before I sound real crazy. How are wildfires started? Okay, let's read the article from CBS News. How did the Maui fire start? What well, we know about the cause of the Lahaina blaze. Deadly wildfires burning in Hawaii have forced evacuations and cut power to thousands. Fueled by a mix of land and atmospheric conditions that can create fire weather, a massive blaze destroyed much of the tourist town of Lahaina on Maui, sending some people running into the ocean seeking safety. At least six people were killed in the fires. Maui Mayor Richard Bisson said at a briefing Wednesday, the U.S. Coast Guard confirmed to CBS News that the crews had rescued about a dozen people who jumped into the water in an effort to escape the Lahaina fighters. 
I'm fired. <laughs> I'm tripping. On Front Street, a popular tourist destination in the town, business owner Alan Dicker described seeing buildings on both sides of the street engulfed in flames and comments to CBS Honolulu affiliate KGMB TV. There were no fire trucks at that point. I think the department was overwhelmed. Diggers told the station, speaking later to CBS News, now we can't handle this. A lot of people just lost their jobs because a lot of businesses burned. A lot of people lost their homes. This is going to be devastating for Maui. Now what caused the fires? Much of Hawaii was under a red flag warning for the fire risk when the wildfires broke out. But the exact cause of the blaze is still unknown. We don't know what actually ignited the fires. But we were made aware in advance by the National Weather Service that we were in red flag situation. Mm. Uh, I'm not going to read all of that to y'all. Eric, Eric classified as a category four by Central Pacific. So what do y'all think, man? Like, I know some of y'all be knowing a little bit more about these subjects than maybe I do. And that's why I make these videos. I want to give my opinion, but I also want to hear facts spit back or opinions spit back so we can see in the comment section. So appreciate y'all for tuning into the video, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, you know. A lot of y'all don't be doing it. Y'all be watching the video and y'all don't even subscribe. I mean, it's okay. I don't want to be, you know, whatever. But hey, man, like, comment, subscribe if you feel like it. Make sure you follow on Instagram, Wolves TV, or at Lone Wolf. You can find the at name in the, you know, description below. Or just look to the, you know what I mean? Oh. Oh. Boom. It should be right there. My name should be right there. Go ahead and follow that on the gram, man. Appreciate y'all for tuning in.